In the last video we looked at regular motors, now we want to look at servo motors. And servo motors are used for very precise movements. We have to go in and we need to set up our controllers just like we did for Tetrix motors. You can use the standard configuration or you can use a custom one. Then you go to servos and the servo controller that you have set up in that panel will now have servo controllers listed on this page. Set the type of the servos on the channels that have servos plugged in. So I have a servo plugged into channel 1 and a servo plugged into channel 6. And I give them good names so that I can identify them in the program that I'm writing. So I have an arm that lifts up and down and then on the end of that arm I have a grabber. And those are set up at the top of your program. Now one of the hardest parts about working with servos is figuring out what positions they're in. A good way to figure that out is to run the program, even though we haven't written anything really yet, and open debugger windows and then external servos and it'll show you a list of the servos on your robot and you can actually move them and see the position number on the screen and you could then take notes of those so you find out what positions you really like and then use those notes to write your program later on. A couple videos ago we learned about functions and I'm going to write servo functions that way then I can use them over and over and not have to rewrite that code. Now my functions aren't going to return anything so I'm going to write void and then I'm going to give the name of the function. So I want a function that's going to put the arm down. So I call it arm down. And it doesn't need any inputs and inside the curly braces is where I'm going to write the instructions for arm down. You're going to find the servo variable and in brackets give the name of the servo and then give it the number of the position that you want. The arm up function is going to be very similar. There's no output of information and I don't need any input of information. In the curly braces I write servo then I give it the arm and I say I want to set that equal to a certain position and when that happens the servo should move to the position of 180. Finally let's write the last two functions for the grabber, a grabber open and a grabber close. And these are equally as easy. Just need to set the servo variable with the grabber in it to the position that I want it to be. Now I can use these functions very easily in my task main. All I need to do is call them. Arm down, put the parentheses so there's no inputs, semicolon. So I'll put my arm down and then I want to close my grabber. So then I type that function as well. And it's always a good idea to include a wait after you've initiated the movement of the servos because the servos need time to move to those positions before you do anything else. So after it waits a little bit of time, I want the arm to come up and then open the grabber, wait some more time, and then I want it to close the grabber. And that's it. Now we should have an arm that goes down, then up, and opens the grabber, and then closes it. 